Uh, good afternoon. Am I speaking with uh, Mr. Flatty? Dear Flatty, I've got a question for you. I have a little problem with the way you Dear Flabby, I am a Mormon, and I don't want to be in this church anymore, but if I leave, I will be shunned by my grandparents and aunts. On top of that, my bishop won't stop leaving me the fuck alone about serving a two-year mission. I don't want to waste two years of my life on a dumbass mission, but my mother and father see that I am struggling. It was already a pain in the ass telling my grandparents I don't want to serve a mission, and they haven't left me the fuck alone since then, two years ago. My sister and dad aren't members because of all the old-ass people bugging them constantly. What should I do, guys? I feel trapped in my religion. Thank you. Go on the fucking mission. Like maybe it'll, maybe you'll go undercover or something. <laughs> They're gonna put you undercover in an African tribe. <laughs> throw, just throw a black socks on, black sock on your dick, and yep, you're good to go. <laughs> you get a black sock on your dick and a plate in your lip, a bone through your nose. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's problem solved. <laughs> how, how, so let's say that you get sent. That's the mission that he gets sent on to infiltrate the Ooga Boogas. <laughs> uh -huh. like, so he's got to go through the whole thing of the rings around his neck and stretching his neck out and yep. carry the camels on their heads or whatever the fuck they do. <laughs> It's like a 14 mile walk to get water. Uh, just one jug. They only have one jug for the village. So you got to make 12 trips a day. <laughs> I didn't even want to take, I didn't even want to accept this mission. <laughs> so, so all right, on. for real, just leave. Like I not leave, but like, don't do the mission and tell them like, yeah, I don't want to be a part of this. No. Why? Have you ever been on a mission? <laughs> nope <laughs> don't you don't you want to go on a mission I like mean, if, i do if, but obviously this guy doesn't that's what i'm saying well that means there's something wrong with this guy because it doesn't matter who it is so i don't care if it's a trying complete, to convince him to go on a mission <laughs> if it's a complete stranger stranger and they come up to me and say i've got a mission for you i'm uh -huh. all in that that's all it takes i'm going whatever it is <laughs> cool if if my grandpa came up to me and he said uh hey why don't you come in the back room? I got a special mission for you. <laughs> I feel a little bit scared. <laughs> Me and your aunt's got a mission for you in the back it's room. <laughs> Operation Little Red Rocket. <laughs> it's a very special mission, and it's top secret. <laughs> and by top secret, I mean you can't tell your parents, no matter what. No matter what. Oh. <sighs> Poor guy. Just go on the mission. <laughs> so I think you changed in, my mind. Just, in, just go on the mission. In religion, mission means like going to help poor people, right? No. That's what they tell you that it means, but it means going to a country that's savages and making them not savages. <laughs> it's, it's, it's terrible. It's a terrible thing. <laughs> They say you're going to save these people, but like you're going to introduce Jesus and make them fight over which Jesus is the right Jesus. <laughs> Stupid. What is a religious mission? A missionary is a member of a religious group which is sent into an area in order to promote its faith or provide services to people such as education, literacy, social justice. Oh, yeah, you're not going on the fucking mission if you got to spread they, them bullshit. Yes. <laughs> bring your lipstick on your mission to Africa you're good to go <laughs> so okay, I, okay. I never so understood it, missions it, in general imagine that you go to this fucking tribe like you described where yep. they have to walk 42 miles away to get water Yep. Right? and you show up and say uh, hi my name's Anthony I, I my pronouns are they them <laughs> How do you say pronoun in African? I need to tell you what mine are. <laughs> I identify as. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> oh, so 
if the idea is to like, okay, I've got the answers and I'm going to spread the answers to like, you know, Africa and South America or whatever, where they don't have the answers. Like they're poor. So they don't know Jesus. I got to go take my, you know, riches and, but don't give them the money. Just give them the idea of Jesus. I I don't get it. All right. So what if, what if we put together a mission Uh where it was just to help homeless people? Uh-huh. Like it's, it's, it's spreading the word of the Douglas. Okay. Would, would that change your mind about missions? If it's, if it is literally nothing but helping those less fortunate to get them on their feet so they can subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> yeah. If that's the goal. Yes. I'm in. Uh, I was, I was against it until you got to the end. <laughs> I should have let you finish. <laughs> if we were organizing a mission, the only one that I would be interested in doing is sending people who don't subscribe to our Patreon to that island where they kill the missionaries. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you, you, there's like some island that's never been touched by other humans except for the people that live there. And that like they're very hostile to outsiders and they've sent missionaries in and the the people on the island come to the shore where the boats are and start throwing spears at the missionaries. And the guy, the one guy died. They like hit him with a bunch of spears and they killed him. (laughs) We're spreading the word of Jesus. (laughs) I'd be interested in that. We're going to send people over to get speared. That's great. I I dress up our listeners as like turtles and shit. And (laughs) you you can get the deepest into shore. (laughs) Yeah, our missions are going to be actual missions. <laughs> We're going to tell people that there's like some kind of bomb on this island. You got to sneak onto this island and defuse this bomb. No, just make it like a scavenger hunt. Like we, I don't know what what items you would have people scavenger for on an African island, but coconuts. No, bring, bring back whoever brings back the biggest coconut wins. <laughs> That's funny. No, I don't. I'm, I'm sure even African, uh, African tribes that have never had people on it, they still have like Barry White CDs or something. To steal. <laughs> Maybe we should just send a shipment of Barry White CDs. No people, just a boat full of Barry White CDs. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Who? <laughs> That'll civilize them right away. <laughs> It's weird. Their population increased in the in the span of three months. 